What's up guys, Peter here from Reviews on Anything and we're looking at a snowboard goggle in this video. To be more specific, this is the Giro Semi snowboard goggle. Uh, in the box, we're gonna take it out and see what's what. An uh, interesting bonus right away is that you can tell that uh, you get a bonus extra lens included, which is a nice touch. Uh, like other snowboard uh, goggles we looked at though, the packaging isn't that exciting. It's just a cardboard box with some plastic on top. Uh, which is pretty boring, and even though this is a medium uh, price range uh, pair of goggles, I think they could have done a bit of a better job there. But anyway, uh, no complaints uh, about the goggles themselves. As you can see, you get a little microfiber uh, carry pouch, which is, uh, feels actually really nice, uh, with the Giro logo on it. And then you get the goggles themselves. Now this is the Blaze lens, which is sort of for an overcast uh, day. And uh, in my unit, I got the clear lens as well. Uh, so if you're into night skiing or if you are in, uh, you know, very bad weather, the clear lens uh, might be the choice for you. Uh, obviously, right away, uh, that will give away that the lens are, is swappable. Uh, you can see here uh, that there's little points that you can pull the frame apart and uh, take the lenses out and put a new one in. Which is nice, you can get a whole variety of lenses for a varying uh, a degree of conditions from super sunny to uh, you know the clear one for very bad conditions anyway the goggles themselves uh, you get uh, this is the black one as you can see with the black uh, strap with the big Giro logo on the side obviously uh, there's a range of uh, colors available for you a uh, good thing obviously is that Giro also makes helmets uh, so uh, all Giro's goggles are fully compatible with their uh, helmet lineup uh, for a nice seamless fit which is very nice now the goggles themselves are a medium fit uh, pair of goggles, uh, so that's for people with a slightly smaller face. Uh, you can think teenagers, women, uh, or just men with a smaller face in general. Uh, and it's um, a smaller version of their very popular, uh, almost retro block model. Uh, you can see it's a very traditional shape uh, goggles, shape pair of goggles, uh, not frameless design like uh, some Oakley goggles for example that we looked at uh, in other videos. Uh, but very traditional and uh, rather stylish, I think. Uh, it has to be your kind of thing, obviously, because there's so much uh, choice out there. Um, but for uh, you know a medium-priced uh, pair of goggles, I think they look uh, rather nice. And from a brand like Giro, you know that's a brand you can trust, uh, so you'll be sure to have a good product there. Here on the top, we have some uh, ventilation uh, as well as here on the bottom. Obviously, uh, you get uh, some foam to cushion it against your face with some fleece here on the inside makes it very nice and comfortable. Uh, sits good on your face, uh, I'm not really sure if I have a medium sized face or not, uh, but it fits uh, you know, very comfortable and uh, in general you know, it's, it's the inside of the goggles is usually the same anyway because uh, you know, people's faces do vary a lot but it still has to fit on your face so you can make the goggle as big or as small as you want uh, but this still has to fit on your face. Uh, and I personally found that even with goggles as big as the Oakley Flight Decks that we looked at before, the inside is still pretty similar uh, with most of them. The strap, nice and elastic, obviously adjustable uh, so you can wear it with a hat or a helmet or anything. Uh, here on the inside there is some rubber uh, anti-slip material to make it, uh, especially sit on a helmet, nice and tight without slipping off. Uh, even though most helmets have uh, you know, clips like this anyway. Uh, but it's nice. It's a nice touch uh, that it's included. The lens itself is designed to be uh, reasonably close to your face. Uh, you can imagine some goggles have sort of a fishbowl idea where the lens is quite far away from your face. Uh, but Giro has taken the approach of bringing the lens slightly closer to your uh, eyes, and therefore creating a very big uh, field of view. You can imagine that when the uh, lens is actually a bit further away from your eyes, it creates a bit of a tunnel vision effect. Uh, and uh, Giro has actually um, done the opposite and put the lens closer so you can actually have a bigger view straight through the lens, which is quite nice. The lenses though are, um, you know, for a mid-range uh, pair of goggles, the lenses are pretty decent. You get uh, a good uh, quality lens in general uh, with a lot of Giro uh, technology uh, built in, anti-fog, anti-reflective uh, and so on. Uh, and it does a really good job in uh, you know, providing you with a clear field, field of vision. Um, depending on the lens that you pick, uh, you get a bit more depth perception, you get a bit more... Um, you can see the lines a bit better in the snow and so on, especially when the light gets a bit flat, when there's clouds in front of the sun, for example. Um, this, is, uh, this lens is sort of for uh, medium kind of weather, so a bit overcast, 
uh, not fully sunny. And if you go for the lenses that are fully sunny, obviously they'll let less light through than a lens like this, which is uh, designed to let more light through. Uh, that said though, you can see it very well with the, the clear goggles here. Uh, they're not very uh, thick lenses. Uh, obviously, you know, it's, uh, for medium size, uh, medium price range pair of goggles, uh, you can't expect uh, the quality of lenses that, for example, the Oakley goggles had, uh, because they're uh, almost three times more expensive. So, you know, they have to cut corners somewhere. Uh, that said though, for the money, you get good lenses. Um, you can even get, you know, a whole uh, set of lenses uh, that you can change depending on the weather and the day. Uh, and you always have, the, you know, the right uh, tool for the job, so to speak. Uh, and these though, do a great job in uh, making sure that you can see where you're going and that your face stays warm and protected as well. Um, all in all, I'd say uh, it's a good uh, sort of beginner goggle. Uh, for anybody that maybe goes skiing or snowboarding once a year, this is a great goggle to have uh, if you want to spend, uh, you know, a bit of money on lenses, on uh, goggles, but not go completely overboard uh, up in the two, three hundred euro range. This is a great pair of goggles that'll get you along just fine. And if you uh, are willing to invest in two or three pair of lenses uh, besides the two that you get in the box with this one, uh, I think you have a very nice all-round pair of goggles that uh, you know will get you along very fine. Uh, and if you um, you know, if you only go skiing or something once a year, then this is a good uh, pair of goggles to start with. I can imagine that if you're a pro that is on slopes uh, all day, all night, uh, you might want to look for something a bit more high-end. Uh, but for everybody else, this is definitely the way to go. I find them comfortable um, for all day wearing, uh, really, especially with the helmet, you know, there's hardly uh, any pressure on your head then anyway. Uh, but, you know, sometimes they can pull a bit into your face, uh, but I think the foam here does a great job in staying uh, comfortable, soaking up a little bit of sweat and moisture. Uh, and with the venting here on the top and the bottom, uh, it keeps your uh, it it's prevents from fogging up and does a pretty decent job in heat management that way. All in all, a good all-round pair of goggles. Uh, like I said before, medium uh, medium spec, medium price range. Uh, so you really get what you pay for. You get a medium spec, medium price range pair of goggles uh, that does the price justice, I think. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the Giro Semi goggles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers!